Hey guys, and welcome to Bath City for our second season. That is correct. This is the second season in the championship. Who would have thought it, but here we are. I keep getting offered jobs during the summer and stuff, but we ain't leaving Bath. This is where it begins, and this is where it ends. I have just also been here for 10 years. So I actually got the achievement for being at one club for 10 years, which actually I didn't have before, because um, normally I would have changed by now, but it's kind of nice to get that achievement, even if it is in the older version of FM, just adding up achievements and stuff. You can see here, though, look at that. We've never seen these numbers before. I was excited when we were valued like 1 million, but now we're valued at 11.5 million. Uh, still predicted to come 24th, of course, but the actual, um, I think... The bet rating is very similar to a lot of other teams at the moment. A few things have changed at the club, but I will tell you right now, I think you guys are going to be disappointed. I've been disappointed so far, but remember, it's only the 8th of August. I've still got a lot of things I'm planning to do and players I'm keeping an eye on. Just waiting for some of them to just lower their expectations um, so that they actually will come to join us. Look at that. 21st, the highest, I mean, every season is almost, apart from that one, has been beating the record for, like, highest position for Bath City, so it's been a crazy career at Bath. I mean, if we can get them to the Premier League and survive a season, that would be crazy. Our finances right now, as you can see, don't look too bad. Four million. That, that, that TV money in the championship is insane. It makes such a big difference to a club like ours. And at first, the board did say they weren't going to make any expansions to the stadium because we had no money at the end of the season. But once we got this money, I went back and asked them, and they're now expanding the stadium. Huzzah! We're finally expanding the stadium. I think we're expanding it to, like, 3,500. Um, and that will be done next year, October. So we've got over a year for that to be done. So that, that's kind of... Uh, oh, that's 2028. What? I thought it was 2027. That's two years. Why does it take two years to add a thousand seats? What is this? What is... I just... Re wow. Okay. That's annoying. But I mean, at, le at least we're expanding, you know? that that That's one thing I can say. You know, at least we're expanding. He's enjoying his role at the club. I'd like him to leave, you know, let's bring in someone with some actual money. Maybe we could get like a, you know, a, a tycoon come in. Probably not, but we'll see. When it comes to the staff at the moment, as you can see, we changed a few things. We got rid of a few people. Our scouts, I think, are the same as before. You know, Phil Walcott. Who would have thought Phil Walcott would be our scout? And of course, our best one at the moment is uh, Steve Davis. Doing a pretty good job at the moment. Then when it comes to our coaches, we got rid of our head of youth development. I think our fitness coach. Those two have both changed. Uh, Grant Brown came in last year, obviously, because we lost our assistant manager again. We keep losing our assistant managers. Um, where is our new one? Simon, oh no, Simone Lucchesi, I think. Uh, he was our new fitness coach. So he's got very good fitness and okay everything else, really. So I thought we'd bring him in. He also brings up a bonus for everything else. Our head of youth development is Anthony Gerard. We lost our head of youth development. He wasn't that great anyway, and so I brought Anthony Gerard because, you know, he has a bit of experience uh, already as a head of youth development for Bradford City. Four years, that's actually quite a good amount of time, so we brought him in, and as you can see, our coaches, actually, in regards to, hey, butter, what's wrong? Silly puppy, puppies again upset. I don't think my dog's like uh, Anthony Gerard, but at the moment, our coaches are actually really good for the championship, which is really surprising. I don't know how we keep doing it. I don't know. I, I didn't think they were that much better than our last coaches. Maybe the coaches have got worse in this division. Maybe the bigger division has been taking all the other coaches from the other clubs. I'm not completely sure. At the moment, when it comes to our budget, we still got a massive wage budget and transfer budget. So do expect more transfers than what I'm about to show you. We have a lot of money still left. It's just really difficult to bring in quality players right now. Most of them don't want to come. But if we have a quick look when it comes to transfers, you can see a lot of goings on and <laughs> at the moment just one. But yes, uh, quite a few people left on a free. Mostly these are all youth players, but we also let go of Jack Dunn. Jack Dunn had been with us for quite a while. How many seasons? 
since uh, we got into League Two, paid ninety thousand. You know, he he did decently for us. I, I don't think that was a waste of money. A lot of money though at the time, but you know, he's now gone. He got a bit too old. Look, his stats, his physical stats were just deteriorating. He just wasn't good enough anymore. We also sold Nick Hayes, our goalkeeper. He wanted to leave. He wasn't getting the first team football. I was having Henry in front of him. And so he just said he wanted to leave. So I don't want to keep players who don't want to be as so We sold him for 45000 to Leeds. And I sold Connor Chaplin for 140000 to MK Dons. Now, this one I didn't really want to do either. But again, he demanded to leave. I, I couldn't play him in front of other players at the time, like uh, Kessler. But um, yeah, so he had to leave. He, he wasn't going to stay. And so I saw him. The sad thing, we got some money out of it. So it's not the t end of the world. Um, I tried to bring in Kessler as a, a buy because he was on sale for about 200000 I think. So I paid that, but he couldn't get a work permit. So that was frustrating. Then I tried to get, they even raised it up to like 300000 I still wanted to buy him. Again, he can't get the work permit. So I've been trying to buy Kessler for ages. Let me have a quick look. Yeah. Kept trying to buy him. He's now at yeah, 300,000 still, but he just can't get the work permit, which was so frustrating. How can he not get one? Crazy. So I've not going to bring him back to the club, and they won't, they won't accept a loan for him because they want to sell him. So I had to bring in someone else for, for now. We brought in Paul Hardy. He was on a free. He can play on the left wing and attack in midfield. We needed a backup for both of these positions. He's 22 years old. He can potentially get better. And he's okay. He's just okay. He's been playing at Walsall in League One. You can see here's only real full season. He got seven in League One two years ago. So, I mean, I think he can do it if we need to call him up. He used to play at Chelsea as well. At the moment, some players that I'm currently bringing in. We're getting some lone players, possibly. Luis Hernandez on the wing. Like I said, we need some wingers right now. So he could potentially be a good one. Um, I'm bringing in a new goalkeeper to replace the goalkeeper we lost, Will Jaskalanen. Now, he's the goalkeeper I wanted in the first place. And I think, how much are we paying? Um, 55 and potentially 5,000 more, 50 league appearances. So we're paying a little bit more than we sold the other guy for. And this is the guy I wanted the most. So I'm kind of happy. I wanted him last year, but he decided to go to Portsmouth instead. But now I've got him. So perfect. Um, we also might be bringing in Josebar Corteza, sort of defensive midfield, add us a bit more variety in the choice we can do tactically. Another loan sign potentially from Hull. Um, another one maybe is Albert Martin, you know, wing back, also a loan from Hull. And you see, I'm trying to get some loans because I've kind of given, I wanted not to bring in many loan players this year, but we just can't bring in good transfers. There's not many free transfers. Uh, maybe bringing on a free Deji Oshalaja. He looks pretty decent, he's a bit slow. But, and he didn't have a good time last season. The other seasons were really good. But last season was pretty poor. So I'm, I'm unsure. I haven't decided on that one just yet. And possibly bringing in Nathan Pickworth, who was the other goalie I was going for. But I think we're going to cancel that and go with Will. So if Will takes on, um, accepts the contract, we're going to cancel the one for Nathan Pickworth. So that's really it from transfers so far. Though I am keeping an eye on a few players. For example... Um, where are they? Contract status. Um, Graham Long is one of the players I'm looking at, but he won't sign for us right now. Hopefully we can get him. Um, Jordan Henderson, 36 years old. <laughs> he will never join. Isco as well as on a free. We'll never get one of those two to sign, but uh, Luke Harrop is the other one. So Luke Harrop or Graham Long both look really good. So I want to try and bring them in. Um, I wanted to bring in James Murphy as well, but he's signing for another club, so... Not been not been great times. You might have to just keep looking. We'll keep looking, and I will definitely bring some more players. But yes, our, our team does not look so great. And the first game of the season is going to be against Norwich. Yes. So Norwich have just been promoted back to the championship after being in a couple of seasons in League One. The prediction has come 17th. So, you know, they're not as big as maybe they used to be, but still they're a tough team for us to have to face. And then the, after we've got Bristol City. Not sure if we're going to have time for the Bristol City game. We may have time. We'll have to wait and see. But let's get in to this Norwich game. 
I'm not expecting great things because the team is basically what it was last year. I still need to bring in some players that I trust. Um, as you can see, yeah, we're really low on squad and everything. We need those players to get in as soon as possible. Up front, though, we do have Hinchcliffe. He's back from the injury just in time for the season. I'm hoping the injuries not hurt him too much. Uh, James Tilly on the wing, of course, been really important for us. He signed a new contract as well. So that is really good if teams want to try and buy him from us. Because teams have been uh, snooping around at him before in the summer. Paul Hardy is going to be his first game in the attacking midfield role. We'll see how he can do. We've also got Tyler Frost, who was hit and miss last year, but decent overall. McKenzie in midfield, because we always trust him. Always really like the player. He just looks great nowadays. Then we've also got with him Chettle. I think it's a slightly better version of him, possibly. Hopefully, he can continue his good form from last year. Uh, Tutonda on the left back. We've also got Aluwu still playing at centre back role. And we've got Wilkinson, another player still playing at centre back. And we've got Watson. And then, of course, Henry in goal. Um, on the bench, Junior, Angle, Del Gleish, who wants to leave. So I'm trying to sell him, but I can't find a team that will pay for him because he's worth quite a bit. Uh, maybe 300,000. He's valued about 300,000, so I should probably lower it now. Griffiths on the bench there. Anderson, Bowler, Leyland, because we haven't got a goalkeeper right now. And Lovett is injured for four months, so yeah. Yeah, not great. So anyway, we got a few problems that definitely need to be sorted by the end of the transfers, but it will be. It will be, guys. I, I We will fix it. By the time the transfer season ends, hopefully we'll fix it. I've made the team actually look better. Yeah. I, I really hope. I really hope. But yes, this could be another difficult season. We'll have to wait. Unless I can try and get a coup or something changes in the transfer market, we may have another difficult season on our hands, which was likely to be expected. We're playing counter today because we're playing against Norwich. So I thought this might be a bit more difficult than we expect. So let's see. I, I don't want to underestimate them because they were down a league before. Passionate. Let's get revenge. We played them before. Let's get revenge when they were in League One. We got promoted. They didn't. First game of the season. Lovely stadium here for Norwich. One day. One day Bath maybe could have a lovely stadium. We just need, just need to expand it. Okay, here comes Tilly with the ball. Mackenzie gets it to Hardy. Okay, ha Mc well, Hinchcliffe lost that ball, I'd say. I wouldn't blame Hardy for that. Decent choice by him, really. 11 minutes in. So not much going on at the moment. It's been a pretty quiet first 20 minutes. They've got two shots. Possession has been pretty decent for us. Hmm. We are playing counter, so I guess it's having more possession. Mm, is kind of odd, but them getting more shots is not odd. We just need to make sure that our chances are good chances. And we see we're starting to catch up them. I'm, I'm quietly confident. They're getting a lot of chances, but I bet these are like distant chances. So the three shots on target. Hmm. And nothing happened. Literally nothing happened in that first half. Revenge. Everyone loves revenge. We've learnt that. We've learnt that. Everyone loves revenge. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Come on, give us a highlight. <laughs> Game. Come on, give us a highlight. I, I mean, I'd like to see... I, mean, I don't want to see anything, because I don't want to see Norwich score. Cause a draw is okay, I think, for us. Okay, here come Norwich, and Sterling has scored. Kazea Sterling scores for Norwich, making it 1-0. I guess we had it coming, to be honest. I guess we have to check. We have to go attacking. Um, I feel like we've we've been on the back foot too much, maybe in this game. We've just been maybe we've opened up a bit too much. Maybe I overestimated Norwich. I've given them too much room. Wilson with a corner now. That's it. Get it out. Field picks it up for Norwich. To that guy. Then Oluwu kicks it out. Good Oluwu. Good for you. Come on, let's get a goal back. Let's make it one all. Then I'll feel a little bit better. Because we haven't even brought in our other players yet. Mackenzie and Chetta look a bit tired. So we'll bring in Griffiths for Mackenzie. Box to box. Uh, Alou looks a bit tired. So we'll bring on Anderson. He's got a yellow. Hardy looks a bit tired though. He's playing poor. So it's Hinchka's playing poor and not looking so hot. So Angle should really go first over Junior, sadly. 
we'll go with Poacher. Okay, Lee Angle is going to come on. Maybe we can just grab a late-minute goal. Wilkinson has now taken on the captain's R-band from Hinchcliffe. But let's see. A, a loss is not terrible here. Though, obviously, Norwich are expected to come 17th, so that's a team we really want to try and be competing with. Uh, Frost, Griffiths. Okay, didn't get the ball till we wanted it to. Griffiths, you just come on the pitch. Come on. Okay, good job there, Anderson. Griffiths gets it back. Gets the ball to Hardy. Hardy, oh, could, could have been a great chance to pass the ball to Angle. But Sterling, ooh, good good try there for him. But another corner for Norwich. A lot more things have happened this half, has to be said. Another chance, and Field has scored. Feels like kind of a goal from nothing, but Sam Field scoring there. Nothing we could do, 2-0. Looks like we're going to lose the first game of the season. Which does not make me happy, because we've normally not done too badly for the first game of the season. So the fact we're losing this one makes me sad. Makes me so sad. So sad. It's a sad, sad situation. And Wilson's going to pass the ball. Nope, didn't get anything. Okay, till the end of match. 2-0 to Norwich. Not how he wanted to start things off. It is, it is disappointing, yeah. Um, I'm not happy, yeah. Probably my own tactics. I should have stuck with what we're good at. But there we go. So one ga it's, one ga it's one game, guys. It's one game in a whole season. We will have more players come in. We're going to make ourselves look better. Angle, Vowser, and Gold Drought. We really need more strikers. Uh, we need more everything, to be honest. But yes, I'll see ya. And here we are for the match against Bristol City. I also, just before this game, I played a League Cup against Barnett. And we beat them 1-0. Hinchcliffe did score. So really good to see him scoring in the new season once again. That's good to see. Uh, interestingly, Bristol City are the other team with Norwich who got promoted last season from League One. Obviously another potentially pretty good team. One that we should not underestimate. And they're managed by Nathan Doyle. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but Nathan Doyle, he's, like, been following me up the leagues. Like, wherever I've gone up the leagues, he's also done it as well. And we keep seeing him. Um, can we see overview? No, not Bristol City. I want to see Nathan Doyle. There we go. Okay, that's so a quick look at his uh, career stat achievements, isn't it? Um, so, a quick look here. He was manager at Boreham Wood at the beginning of the game. So we saw him in the lower leagues and stuff, 2019. Then he went to Ebb's Fleet. Then he went to Cheltenham. And he was in Bristol City. So he's been making his way up the leagues with me at the same time. It's been really weird. So weird. League One Manager of the Year as well for Bristol City. He has just been doing like the same things as me. Just follow me up. I, I, we've had this kind of rivalry as well. So... Uh, this is going to be interesting. But also, the team has changed a bit. I've already made some signings since the last match you guys saw. So the team's already looking a little bit different. Though I haven't really had much chance to really use them. Um, we brought in Hernandez. Luis Hernandez on the wing. He looks better than Tyler Frost. Extremely quick, though. Good acceleration and agility. Great flair and teamwork. Work great. You know, I, I like this. His passing's not great, but he's got good dribbling. So we're just going to hope he can do well. Hopefully, he'll be a good one for us. Uh, he's played in the Bundesliga, second league, 6.9. Not too bad. But he's not really had many chances other than that. I also just brought in a few new players I need to try and put into the squad. So, let's just go over how we're going to be playing the team today. That's the first team right now. Um, Albert Martin is our new right back. Um, obviously, our right back is injured for four months. So, I needed to bring in another one. I thought, let's bring in a lone player then. Because I, I like our two right backs. We're just bringing a lone player. He's worth one million. One million! Uh, work rate. Wow. So good. Uh, so we better put him in. So we'll bring him up ahead of Bowler. And then I'll put him ahead of Watson. Because he should be better technically. And he prefers to be more of a fullback, I think. More support fullback. Yeah. He's probably better. He's not really a complete defensive uh, back there. But let's have a quick look. We've also got Corteza, who can be a defensive midfielder. So he gives us a little bit of another option um, if we want to play a bit more defensively. So I quite like him. Valued at 2 million 
at the moment. He's going to go instead of Dal Gleish. Because um, Dal Gleish wants to leave, so I'm going to try and sell him. I don't want him to play that. If he doesn't want to play for this club, he doesn't deserve to play for the club. So we're going to bring him on. He's going to kind of be a, a, a replacement for Hardy. Maybe he should go ahead of Hardy. Huh. We're playing at home to this. Go for more of an attacking me men mentality. And Bristol City obviously just got promoted. So if we're playing a big team, we'll probably put a defensive midfield on instead. I think that'll work quite nicely with what we've got. But for today, we'll keep it like this. Uh, we also brought in uh, Semi Ajayi uh, as a defender. I was looking at another defender on a free before, but I saw this guy actually wouldn't be too expensive. So I paid 45000 for him. He's, you know, 32 years old, but he's not bad. He's still got 12 pace and 11 acceleration. He'll at least last one more season, and I think he's better than the, the guy who was on the free. So he's also got the experience, you know, Blackpool in League One. Um, he played in the Championship before. Got 6.81. I don't think he'll be too bad. I think he'll be okay. So we should bring him forward. I think I'm putting him ahead of Anderson. Yeah, he's better than Anderson, really. And who should I take? Wilkinson or Aluwu? Wilkin Wilkinson, I think, is just pretty decent. Aluwu, he's also come in leaps and bounds. It's really hard to tell how good he is sometimes. What did you guys get last season? Uh, 6.85. And Wilkinson got 6.82. Very close. Uh, okay, let's bring on him for Wilkinson then. Defensive centre-back. Perfect. So we'll bring on our new centre-back as well. So we've got a lot of changes at the moment. And of course, we've brought in our new goalkeeper, um, Will Jaskalainen, if that's how you pronounce his name at all. Not sure who's better, him or Henry. It says Henry's better, so we'll keep on the back for now, but we'll see. I should probably put someone down into under 23s, actually. Delgleish, Kuya, Anderson. Anderson or Leyland? Who should go down? I like Leyland because he's more versatile. Anderson's getting a bit old now. Anderson, I'm sorry. You're, you're going down. Under 23s for you. But there we go. Perfect. So I'm liking this. I, I think this is a nice little score. We're starting to build something. It looks better than last season. It's starting to look a little better than last season. Um, if we could just get, you know, our French... Attack a midfielder back. I'd be really happy. I'd be quite happy with what we've done already. And we still have lots in the bank because these are all loans, most of them. So, And the ones we did bring in are cheap. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know about you guys. I'm pretty happy with the players we've been bringing in. And uh, hopefully the loans do well. I'm really looking forward to Luis Hernandez. If he can be a really good winger for us, that could be a massive difference, I think. But we'll see what happens. He is the key player now. I think he could make a massive difference. I'm not completely sold on the right back, but like I say, he's just kind of here for the injured guy. Let's give the fans something to cheer. The first game at home this season. Look at our lovely little stadium. <laughs> Compared, going from the Norwich Stadium to the Bath Stadium, it's kind, it's kind of sad, but yeah, you know, it's fine. We'll deal with it. But Bristol City is a very close city to Bath, so this is a big game. Almost a sort of rivalry game, you could say. A local one. Tilly, a good ball in. Oh, got hit out. Hooten. Okay, Griffiths has the ball. Is he going to come to the attack for Bristol City? Gets the ball in. Ooh, luckily, Roof just hits it over. He couldn't slam the ball down into the ground. So that was good for us. And so far, it's looking pretty even, which is what we want. We want games to be quite even because... Our players have that mentality to just push through, even when they're playing, you know, as good as the other team. Let's hope we can do that today. Hinchcliffe, come on, you scored against Barnett. I know they're a lower team, but it was a good test for you to see if you could still score. And you showed you can. And Hinchcliffe... Oh, Hinchcliffe! And Hinchcliffe steals the ball. A massive, def a massive mistake by the Bristol City defence there. Wow, Baldock just tried to kick the ball back. Look at that mentality. It's the mentality of him. Look, he far away. The goalkeeper could have got it, but he just was not going to let it happen. Bad pass back to Turner. And it's 1-0 to Bath City. Ah, could, is this, could we make a big difference from last season? I don't think so. I, say, I, I think we could aim to get, like, you know, above 20th. That's my aim, really, for this season, I feel like. I think even with the small changes we've made, it would probably just push up to, like, that area. 
And this this is a this is a big challenge. There's a lot of really good teams in this league at the moment. We're playing well. Try to encourage them. Yeah. I'll just go calm. Just calm. Like I'm happy. Calm. You know. We're not letting them get many good shots and stuff. Even if the goal didn't really come from our own play, it just shows the hard work and mentality of Hinchcliffe and the others. Mackenzie with the ball. Chettle. Hinchcliffe. Gets it to Hardy. Hardy, the new man. The young lad. Okay. <laughs> big, bigging you up there, Hardy. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. That was great. Great. But yes, maybe Hardy won't play much. I say he's more of a backup. But I was hoping we could get our Frenchman Kessler back. But we weren't able to, so now he's kind of the first team at the moment. But we'll see. Still not looking too bad. Uh, a lot of players are tired, though, so I should probably change them. Um, we need to take off. Mackenzie's got a yellow card as well. We'll bring on Griffiths for him. Box to box. Um, Sammy is looking a little bit tired there, so we'll take him off. The new player, you know, he's, he's a little bit... It's his first game with us, you know, he's a little bit tired. Paul Hardy's tired as well. But we have to bring him off for Cortaza, go defensive. Which actually might work. Actually, let's do that. Because we are 1-0 up, so we'll do it. Because I can't change the formation, so we'll have to wait to be able to change formation in the next round. A Tilly, after these changes have been made. Hinchcliffe to Tilly. Tilly gets the ball to Hardy. And he Hernandez, his debut. Luis Hernandez scores a goal. For Bath City, what a great moment for the young lad. Really good play here by the players. Look at that, that ball by Tilly was great. Hardy also just, he knew what to do and get it to Hernandez. What great play. Now it's the perfect time to bring our defensive midfielder because we just need to try and keep the game now. 2-0. So here we go. Perfect timing. Perfect timing to score. Um, Cortaza, you'd have to be defensive now. You can go advanced playmaker which is what you prefer. So actually, that could be really good for him in the future if we can play like this. I, I kind of actually like this formation for us because we have, you know, McKenzie and Chettle and Griffiths are midfielders that I really trust. So having them to be able to go a bit more forward because they have a defensive midfielder would actually be really nice for us. And I think with a player like Hernandez and Tilly on the wings, they're two players that we can trust on there. Probably our two best players, actually. So they don't need maybe the advanced... Uh, Midfield, you know, attacking midfield role. Because we've only got Hardy right now. If I can get Kessler, though, that might change. But we'll see. We'll really have to wait and see. Okay, Haunton gets it down. Because even though I have a lot of money, I can afford a lot of players. But most of them won't come to us. And Bristol City have scored in the 87th minute. Hopefully we can just hold on in the last few minutes. Because even though I can afford a lot of players, we're going to go contain. <laughs> Even though I can afford a lot of players, a lot of them just won't come. All their wages are insane. Like 20,000. <laughs> Which is crazy for Bath, but we'll see. I, I just like the ragtag group we've been able to make of players. Look at that. Win against Bristol City. I feel better now. We lost against Norwich. Win against Bristol City. The new players look good. So I'm really happy with that. And Hinchcliffe scored, of course. So there we go, guys. You could be seeing some new players coming in very soon. Don't think it's over. I'm looking at uh, Alex Honeyball at the moment is a def uh, defender I'm looking at. But he might cost me like a hundred and that they want two hundred and ten, but I want like a hundred and fifty or hundred and sixty. But they'll probably make me pay like a hundred eighty. So that could be potentially something. But don't expect things to be ending here. We'll be back next time and we'll see what we've done. I'll see you then.